along with other dignitaries, city officials. We are here today to sign off on the official Black History Proclamation that the County Executive Thomas P. Gordon has written. We are so excited and I hope that you stay tuned to see what we have in store for you on today. For one, you go to the bar. For one, you 
wafele For money he ve, he ve, he ve I do pray, oh, I do pray I do pray, oh, I do pray I do pray, oh, I do pray Giving honor to the creator, the divine creator of all living things. Wow, thank you very much. Next we'll hear from Claire Carey. She is the uh, director of the YMCA Black Achievers Program. Give her a round of applause. Uh, I just want to take this opportunity to officially welcome you to the Walnut Street YMCA. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. 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 Uh, also to recognize our Associate Executive Director, Christina, uh, Christina Wozniak, who is holding Julie, and has been out here early this morning helping get this ready. Uh, issuing the official welcome to the program on behalf of the sponsoring organizations will be Ms. Kristen Hill. Ms. Hill is our president of the Adult Black Achievers, and she is an executive of J.P. Morgan Chase. Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, as Ms. Claire stated, my name is Christian Hill, and I have the pleasure of serving as president of the Adult Black Achievers of Delaware. Um, on behalf of my fellow Black Achievers, the adults, the teen, and the youth, um, some of which you see back there, um, as well as our partners, the uh, Delaware branch of the NAACP, the African American Heritage Center, as well as the Afro American Historical Society of Delaware, I welcome you all to New Castle County's Black History Month Proclamation Signing Ceremony and Program. Um, I'm very happy to be here with you all today. Uh, Black History Month has always had a special significance for me. And um, I'm hoping that each and every one of you in this room today, um, particularly our young people, uh, leave this event with a renewed sense of pride in themselves and feeling empowered and aware of the um, potential and the power that lies within them. Um, I don't need to tell any of you all this, but we are living in the midst of a crisis, and we have been for quite some time now. Um, we're living in a time where we still have to organize and take to the streets to march and protest the ongoing persecution and the um, systematic disregard of black lives in this country. And for whatever reason, the notion, the fact that black lives matter too, really has not penetrated the deep consciousness of this country. But in doing so, we have found ourselves ushering in you know, that next phase of the black freedom struggle, and we're seeing our young people, my generation, you know, really coming together to take up hands. Good morning. It is with great honor that I'm here today. As I look around this room, I'm a native of Wilmington, Delaware, born and raised right here on the east side. As a matter of fact, we still own my parents' home right there in Sherman and Lovely. This was the spot. Uh, we had no trial, and we never knew that we were segregated because we were very rich with our mentors, the mentors that we had. I'm wearing my school colors, Howard High. That's what it was. And we had graduated many doctors and leaders, and we all came back home to represent and reach back and help our youth. This room right here was our gymnasium at the time. We had our parties here. And as I walked into the Y, I saw the pool. And I, I can kind of visualize where things used to be. But one of the things that we had, <clears throat> we talk about pride. We learned as youngsters, 10 and 11 years old, we had everything in this building. I, I took my ballet, tap, and toe dance here. I learned how to eat out. We had a restaurant downstairs. And the lady in charge taught us what the proper way to eat, you know, this morning. 
and every song that was written in the 60s, the only way these hip-hop artists can promote their music is to steal from the old. I'm a musician, and I know. So yes, we did our fight, we did the good fight, but we did it for you, so that you can have the opportunities that you have today as Martin Luther King had stated, one day his big dream was to see little black girls and boys going to school with little white ones. Don't let us down. We fought the good fight. Enjoy it. Don't destroy it. I thank you. Our next speaker is an up-and-coming history maker. He is president of the Team and Youth Achievers. Please help me welcome Miles Evans. Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Miles Evans, and I am the current president of the Youth and Teens Black Achievers. Um, Black History Month is a very important segment of this year because it shows the trials and tribulations that African Americans have gone through. In the last century, we have been able to excel beyond what many felt we could do. Groups such as the Little Rock Nine attended a racially segregated school, which for their safety, they had to be escorted by the United States Army. They were one of the many groups that set standards for the achievements reached next. We we're also able to express a right to vote, but not without consequences. African American men and women would be threatened, attacked, and in some situations, even worse. It's absolutely outrageous to think that the penalty for expressing our rights was death. We have come a long way as a race, and we still have so much farther to go. But having a month devoted to our accomplishments, which we have reached, means so much. That is why we pause today to celebrate this month. Uh, as another member of the black youth, I want to achieve great things in life and not become another stereotype or statistic. For this, I strive. Thank you, everyone, for coming out today.